Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more Fighter Subscriber where I have challenged you to create a craft that can take on these, my own fighters, and my poor, poor fighters. Oh my god. They've really taken a pasting this season. Yes, anyway, their suffering is nearly at an end because today we meet the final craft, the twelfth and final craft that we taking part in this round, and um, then it's over to the finals and they don't get involved. So um, anyway, for one last time this season, let's go and meet today's competitor. This is the some bullshit that doesn't look like bullshit by Legged Lack, which gives me an interesting choice. Do I just censor the name throughout the rest of the video, or do I think of something else to call it? I think the former might be funnier, we'll have to see. That's not the only difficulty this craft presented to me, it also came with two ECM jammers courtesy of a misreading of the rules, and rather than unbalance the craft, I just went in and sort of started hacking save files so it only effectively has one. Those things aside, it's a relatively simple single Saturn engine craft and is armed with eight AMRAMs, four Sidewinders and two Vulcan cannons. Onto the test flight and this craft performs, well, as I'd expect a legged lap craft to perform, very, very manoeuvrable, very stable, doesn't go super manoeuvrable, which may or may not be a good thing, and as with any legged lap craft, my expectations are high. It's just a question of whether or not this craft can meet them. So you know the drill, the, uh, the ball starts its trials with a fight against my Red Hawk. Let's, um, let's get them into the air. The competition starts. The, I suppose I could call them the look likes. No, let's just, let's just carry on. Anyway, yes, they start with a fairly heavy volley of missiles. What are they set up for? Just the two missiles per target? I think it's just this version of BD Armory. It tends to do that for some reason. Um, yeah, this isn't actually the first craft Legged Lack sent me. He did send me another one and I looked at it and decided it was, it was a little excessive in certain aspects. So we, um, yeah, asked him for a different one and this is what happened. My god, that was close to being a suicide by missile. That was also my front door going. If you're wondering why there was a sudden heavy thud. Adam Kerman comes around, away with a couple of uh, a couple of sidewinders tracking one of my red hawks, has to pull off as a um, as a missile coming back in. I have not turned the uh, dogfight cam on, have I? Missiles are coming in from one of the red hawks. No kills so far. I don't think even think there's been any damage so far. The uh, the bull turning around hard. <laughs> oh my god! Adam Kerman. There's a proximity hit. It just takes off his engine. Missile coming in. Yeah, another proximity hit does some more damage. Adam Kerman's craft seems to be a bit unstable. I mean, as well as being heavily disabled. Yeah, that's the end of Adam Kerman's craft. Ben Kerman's craft is not doing well either. Ghosty Kerman. Ghosty Kerman turns around, is doing very well trying to, when he can actually get, um, bring his guns to bear, but it's just, it's been some unfortunate missile kills there for the, um, for the bull comes around, tries to get guns, can't do it, has another Red Hawk in his sights, uh, missiles coming in distracts him. It's going to be difficult coming back from three on one, but it looks like the, uh, Looks like the bull might be in with a chance. A little bit of target indecision here. That's never a good look for a craft that's on the back foot. Pick a target, stick to it, destroy it. But just with so much, so much having to just dodge. Oh, that was a golden opportunity. Missile coming in, having to pop countermeasures. Pull some hard evasive maneuvers. Managing okay so far, but is getting a smattering here and a smattering there that will slowly be slowly stripping the parts of hit points. Oh my god! Is the comeback on? One of the Red Hawks gone, as I said, will slowly be stripping him apart, and that um that combined with the heart bleed mode that's on, that's on will mean that Yeah, stuff will start falling off sooner rather than later. And it's already happening. It's been a valiant, valiant attempt to pull it back. Oh my god, wasn't it just? But despite coming so close, look at Ion Kerman's craft, missing an engine. Josh Kerman's craft appears to be in good health. Did get some hits though. 
so close, so close to being a remarkable turnaround. But sadly, it is a loss for Legged Lax Craft. So the ball comes unstuck in its first fight. Maybe a bit unlucky, but uh, now we have a chance to find out with a, a chance to redeem itself against my spike tails. Show it what it can really do against what has definitely been my strongest craft this season. Let's uh, let's see what happens. And the fight starts on the curve and is hard around. One, two, three, four Amrams off at the spike tails. Now, the Spike Tails, despite being my strongest craft this season, have been prone to some accidental missile kills. That looks like that could have almost have been some accidental missile suicide. One of the Spike Tails has been hit. That's a cloud of debris. Do you think if, do you think if the, uh, the bullshits do something <laughs> really impressive, I could just go, Oh, that is total bull****. Ah, <laughs> oh, I should really stop that and... Let's turn on the, the dogfight cam. Okay, one of the spike tails is basically gone. Another one of them crashed and burned. I assume that's the unhealthy one that's gone. Um, yeah, looks like it. The two healthy spike tails closing the gap on the uh, closing a gap on the bullets. Here we go. This is where we get a serious fight. Oh my god, the other one's pretty much gone. That's that's not looking good. Oh god, they can turn so quickly. Oh, that's... Oh! That is complete and utter bull right there. <laughs> I'm starting to have a bit of fun with this. Yeah, the, uh, the bull is completely, um... Completely unharmed in that fight. Maybe it was a bit of bad luck in that first fight after all. Let's, um... Let's move on. A much improved performance there from the bull but uh, unfortunately because of that initial loss it's not going to be enough. Although we do get another chance to see them in action against my Lynxes who basically, <laughs> basically this season, this final fight has always been a bit of a target shoot. Let's, um, let's get them into the air. The fight starts. We'll uh, switch on dogfight cam straight away. Ghosty Kerman away with the huge volley of miss... I said away with the huge volley of missiles. If you could... Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Make me look like an idiot. Yes, the, the Lynxes. I think they've generally been pretty good at dodging missiles. It's just when they get in up close and personal, just that huge wing area makes them just too easy a target. I mean, they, they perform well against my other craft, which <laughs> I think lulled me into a full sense of security. But now they are, uh, uh, sadly... Yeah, right for replacement. Closing the distance. Not quite within five kilometers yet. Ghosty Kerman still pumping out the missiles. How are we doing? Yeah, nowhere near gun range. It's it's sad that these uh, these craft got the uh, got that initial loss because they are clearly very very capable. One of the lynxes, one of the links is just absolutely shredded by a missile. Ion Kerman. Goes for the uh, goes for the sidewinders, or does yeah, eventually goes for the sidewinders, trying to level things up. Looks like his wingman has been uh, has been badly hit though. Yeah, down to the one engine, which normally means that oh my god, and so is Alan Kerman. That bull trying to line up guns. Oh, losing it, losing it. Gonna be into the flat spin before too long. Just yeah. Into the flat spin, GT Kerman, despite that huge moment he'll be experiencing because of the single engine, still just about holding it together, although he will be reasonably easy pickings with the other craft. Ah. Some amazing bull there. Let's um let's go and look at the final scores. So the sun bull that doesn't look like bull uh, a very good craft, tons of potential, but sadly let down by that slip up in the first fight. And if we bring up the leaderboard, we can see that with seven kills and six survivors, the bull sits tied on eighth place outside the finals places. Kind of annoyed by that because it means I have to go and do a slightly more complicated tie break with all those craft uh, tied on fourth place to work out which one of them actually takes the final finals place. Um, but it, it does kind of quite nicely sort of a bit of a cliffhanger for the final episode, so there's that. My huge thanks to Legged Duck for giving me his bull 
Uh, if you want to see me fight your craft, I'm afraid uh, entries for Fighter Subscriber are currently closed, although I am still doing my regular mailbag streams, so uh, you can send them in for that if you want to see them featured on the channel. But yes, that will be all for today. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't, you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, Great BD Armory and KSP community on there, and more besides. All those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon, if you want to help support the channel. Uh, you too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal like I've been using here today, your name at the end of videos, access to the Patreon-only Discord, that kind of thing. Also, some other stuff I'm trying to get done at the moment. Um, yeah, but uh, I'll be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but until then, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.